Hello and welcome to our career on U-Boat uh, U31 and uh, yeah, in this uh, in the last episode uh, we boarded some neutral shipping uh, turned out to be totally legit, we couldn't do anything about it we boarded them, checked them out and uh, yeah, they were going to Murmansk and uh, not the UK so we couldn't do anything about it However, we spotted an enemy submarine and uh, yeah, we went on to sink it. That's a very nice way to begin our career. We are still on our our career, our patrol, sorry. Uh, we are still on our way to our patrol area and uh, we, we have already sunk a pretty important vessel. So yeah, well, it's time to move on and see what we find in our way to the patrol area. Okay, this is interesting. We got a communication, a convoy in Naval Square BF-466. Uh, 31 steamers, mm -hmm. two destroyers, at least, that they have found out. Southwestern Coast. BF-466, it's here, Southwestern Coast. Um, doesn't say a speed. Assuming... Course, it's around 7 knots, if we go at full speed ahead, that's twice or more the speed, we might be able to intercept. Let's try it. Uh, we do have another report, U41, it's grid BF491, southwest, approximate speed 8 knots. If that's the same one, it is the same one. 8 knots. Yeah, we are closing fast, and uh, it's reported with a course of 2 to 9. I think we m actually might be able to catch up. Fuel is not a concern, we have more than enough, so yeah, yeah, this could be big. Between 30, 23 and 51 transports. Tasty, yes, very tasty. Okay, we have a seat spot. And uh, bearing around 300. Let me check on that. So we are on there, according to the report. I'm not seeing anything. We are going this direction. This should be 280, 290, 300 more or less. Let's see. Not seeing anything. Weird. Well, if we spot it in visual, we are currently going parallel to the convoy. I'm trying to come ahead and then cross into the into their path. Uh, Two thirty. It was its course. Roughly this one. So as you can see, what I'm doing is moving ahead, coming closer to the track, and when I reach here, I will come closer and then backtrack to try to find them. And set my submarine just in front of the convoy, which is the perfect position to come inside. Okay, it seems to be something really small. But I'm not really seeing what it is. There, maybe? Is there something? Or was it an effect? I don't really know, but at any rate, he's in parallel course, he's very far away, I don't think he's going to see us, and we have a lot bigger fish to catch, so yeah, let's keep on going. Alright, yep, there's definitely something there, look at that, wow, just to the naked eye, that's a sight to behold. On our port bow, we are coming pretty fast. Um, actually, if I look at it, yeah, we already have an enemy ship in, 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 vision, in vision. I think I'm straight ahead in the middle of them because, yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on a second, I'm going to order of these coordinates. Turn, slow down. If you see, if you imagine the middle of the convoy is there, 
you can see these plumes of smoke can go in this direction, these plumes of smoke of smoke are going this direction. So it seems they are coming directly for us, which is ideal. Which is ideal. Very well, it's time to begin performing torpedo preheating and order everyone to their battle spots. U16 is behind them. It's raining, visibility is not amazing. Roughly, as you can see, 5,000 meters. Now it's yeah, increasing somewhat. So, yeah, well. We need to come closer, we need to make some decisions on what to attack and position ourselves in the proper position. We know there are at least two destroyers guarding it, which I'm going to bet they are at the flanks, not directly ahead. So if I just lay low and let them come to me, I will be in a perfect and ideal position for the attack. He's hoping at least. At any rate, look at what we have in front of us. Uh, of course, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just remembering that our torpedoes are shit. <laughs> I really hope they don't fail us in this. Oh, look at that. That one is big. Let's note that one. United Kingdom, I'm guessing. And it's a freighter and it's a C3. C3 class. Just to give that in memory. That one seems a liberty. Liberty indeed it is. So we do have two big targets. Probably 10 degrees of our bow might be our immediate target. We'll see. We only need to let them come closer. And that's what we are going to do. Very well, we have the first contacts within visual, actual visual range. Let's make some estimations. There. And let's begin taking measure, measurement. Oh, and they are sending the alarm. I, I shouldn't be able to hear this, but yeah, you you can hear that. So I guess that means that they are not going to be in a steady course. They are going to be zigzagging. Still, we are going to take a rough estimation of their speed, and um, I don't think they 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 can't see us at this distance. I'm pretty sure. I'm guessing U16 is having a field day back there. And of course they are all running scared. Uh, which obviously is the smart thing to do if you are in in American ship and you both are around. Yeah, they, they are basically zigzagging. It's going to be hard to estimate an exact speed, but we can make an approximation. In general, if they are zigzagging, they will be one or two knots below their actual speed, the measurement, I mean, because, of course, when you are turning, you are covering a bigger distance. Okay. Stop it there. Close enough. And... Uh, 1.30. Oh, I'm not trusting that for a second. 131 minute should be five knots. No, not really trusting it. But for now we don't have any other any other way to calculate it. Well we're moving directly towards him. So what I could do is do the double check with velocity. So this method only works if you are stopped or if you are moving directly towards the enemy. But of course it's turning. I'm not sure this is going to be very useful. 
No, I'm going to stop it. Well, I'm going to let them come close. And in the meantime, periscope there. Begin preheating the other torpedoes. And uh, yeah, we do have this target, this target, this target. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to try to attack the three mission workers. What? What the hell? What do you mean mission workers? Ah, there they are. There they are. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, let me check one thing. Um, distance of the track, approximately one kilometer is not very much. And assuming it's in 2.30, we want to be in a course of 3.20. To be in a 90 degree, again, they are zigzagging, it's going to be hard to estimate, but we can try. Uh, also, make sure I don't want anyone noticing this happen from the time. You take care of the observation periscope and hide it. I say hide it. I don't want any periscopes up. We are going to guide ourselves by the... Ooh, look! Oh, no, this seems like a warship. Yeah, since whatever is happening is happening in this place. Maybe U16 is making noise, I don't know. But uh, yeah, we are not U16, we are right in front of them and I'm going to try to hit them all. Well, I have four torpedoes. Mm, maybe hit a couple of them. Well, whatever the mess was happening back there, we have contacts all around us. But it seems that it has somewhat calmed down. They are not zigzagging anymore, so I think it's time that we make another estimation. Of course, well, we can put it there and see their actual speed. They somehow have bounced up, which makes my... <laughs> I, I was planning to hit this with long range torpedoes and this with short range torpedoes. No longer the case. By the time I can shoot at this guy, this will be so far past me that the angle is going to be crazy for the torpedoes to, to explode. Again, we have very early war torpedoes and those, unless you impact nearly perpendicular, they don't work. But we do have a couple targets behind us. So that's a good opportunity for a twin attack with both the tubes and the aft tube. We'll see if it works. Well, probably we work what I'm sure won't work are the torpedoes, but <laughs> that's a whole different matter. Okay, almost one minute. And stop. And drop the marker. So I need that's it not so so I think. Uh, we can delete this. We can check. So nine. That's more than nine nine knots. Nine and a bit. Uh, is in a course of 2.30 so we need to be in 3.20 which I think we are already 3.21 uh, I'm almost stopped one knot so that's good okay let's take a look around also for the blue lightning I want to be silent for the time being Ooh, very bad weather on the surface. That's good. That will mask our sounds. Okay, I think our target is that one. That's the Liberty class. 
Do you want the Liberty Class or the Citrus Class? Decisions, decisions. That's almost 8,000 tons. That's slightly less. I'm guessing this is going to be our target. Which would be this one here. So let's replicate. Of course, of two. And check the distance on track. Very, very close. But it's ideal because it's coming behind. So that will give us chance to aim at this guy here. I'm going to order 20 RPM or 30 RPM backwards. Or 50. This is 50 RPM backwards. I want to increase the distance to this track. In the meantime, this is Victoria City. Well, Victoria City, you are about to be mine. Now let's check what's behind us. Ooh, another C3. Ooh -hoo. Okay, this is a good chance to stop machines and do a, a double check on their on the speed of the convoy. Set course was two thirty. Velocity we are about to find out. How is our speed? Stop, stop. When you give orders to other PM the telegraph doesn't work properly. Okay, let me check situation here. This is 70 coming closer. I do have time to do a proper measurement here. Also speed stopped. Good. Velocity and start. We know should be around nine knots, but Again, they, ha they are being attacked. They might be changing speeds at times. I don't really know. And honestly, now they don't seem to be moving that quickly. And in the meantime, preheat that one. I don't actually stop that much time. I mean, you would weren't able to keep their depth without any momentum forward or backwards. There. Six knots. Okay. Uh, I do have time for another measurement. Let's do it. Again. When they are under they are under attack, they do six hours, they change course, they change uh, speed, so yeah. Let's again order upwards, improve the keeping. And I want to keep the scope up for as long as we are taking this measurement. news for any destroyers. I think the one that was perpendicular before was a destroyer that was moving backwards. Maybe U-16 is under trouble, but it's not our concern right now, is it? Weather well, is getting really stormy. Okay, getting ready. And stop it. Come close. Notes. And this is 200 meters. 200 meters is six knots. Six and a half, almost seven. So yeah, well, I'm thankful and I'm glad that I did that calculation. Okay, so how are we going to attack? First, we are going to shoot at the one behind. Why? Because he's farther. Then we are going to shoot at the one in front. Uh, decisions, decisions. Do I want to load the four torpedoes to him? I probably do, because I don't trust them a single bit. I mean, 
<laughs> they have torpedo made as well. I don't know. Yeah, no, let's, n let's stop commenting on that. I really speak about a lot about the torpedoes, but <laughs> you guys must, must be tired of it right now. Okay, 90, 80, 70, 60, 55 to starboard. 55 to starboard. Speed, six and a half. And uh, yeah, we are set. Uh, do I have? Yeah, it is set. It forward. Click on here. Begin tracking. And um, okay, let's do it again for sure. But uh, here should be 90. Perfect. So we should fire when he's here. Yeah. Oh, come on. Yeah. Uh, everything is ready. Everything is set. Link torpedoes to the computer. We deploy the two 4.5 meters because I think C3 is yeah. C3s oh, have almost 9 meters of drought. Keeping the periscope low. So plan is, as soon as we fire, we float the four forward torpedoes. By the way, I'm going to begin. The one in front was a C3 as well, right? Length is 145. One 50 is that, 145 is roughly that. Okay, here it is. Begins appearing. We're looking in front. Yeah, it's a perfect setup. They're moving really slow right now. I, I'm, I, I don't know if they're actually are at six knots or they have slowed down even more. But I guess it's too late to find out, right? We might make a last. Come on. Stop. Last minute check. Whatever speed this guy is doing, the other guy in front of us is also doing. It's the rule of the convoy. They can't be going at different speeds, so... Okay. I'm second-guessing myself a lot, but... Again, the uncertainty of the speed is pretty clear right now. Now it marks seven knots. And unlock. And uh, we are a little bit past, but that's okay. Actually, higher there. Row 4, bewässern. Row 3, bewässern. Row 2, bewässern. Rohr 1, bewässern! Rohr 4, fertig! Rohr 3, bewässern! Lock. Rohr 2, fertig! Okay. Rohr 1, bewässern! Okay, just in front, is on port. Slightly less. Dispersion... 5 degrees, Los. fire! Uh, we have a lot of depth at the last. Ahead one third. Dive, dive, dive. And since our torpedoes are well, well, well in their way to the target, let's see how we do. Come on. 
Well, certainly seems I did a very good calculation here. And yes, at least one w went off. The others... This seem a little bit... Well, they are fired in... In a 4 degree. Oh yes. Oh yes. Well, yeah, that. Here comes another one. Two torpedoes, this guy is a goner. The other one comes here. Okay, two deaths. Two impacts. Yeah, it was a smart decision to fight all four. Alright. That was a pretty nice attack, if I may so say so myself. This guy is a goner for sure. The other one, I don't know. And, uh, yeah. How do I want to do this? I mean, we are in the middle of a convoy. Normal anything. I might actually try to reload torpedoes here. Not something I usually would do if the escort was on top of us, but they don't seem to be. And they are opening themselves for a second attack. By the way, I'm not even yet at my patrol area, and uh, yeah, I'm out of <laughs> torpedoes almost. Okay, one is going down, one is going down, which one? Yeah, this one is going down. And the other one, this one. Yeah, seems hurting. Seems worse. He may stay afloat, I don't know. We might have to finish him off later. But for the time being, this is pretty awesome. Okay, good attack. And uh, yeah, we are normal lightning and um, let's order our crew to reload those torpedoes. Uh, yep. We can reload him. Now we need to wait a little bit. Victoria City sank, yeah. And uh, Lassell wasn't doing so well. We'll see if he does that, goes on or not. In the meantime, well, I guess I mean, I let them pass me over the top. And uh, if we load some torpedoes, at least two, I will go and, and try to do another attack before they completely pass me. But I'm mm, not sure that's going to happen. In the meantime, no, 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 don't do that, do this. Oh, well, we do have destroyer reports here and here. That's worrisome. I'll stop the reload. Okay, this means that we are going to try to let them pass us. There's no way I can repeat the attack with two destroyers on my side. I'm probably, I'm quite sure they haven't detected us, but I don't want to make any unnecessary noise for the time being. We do have a destroyer, or a warship at least, just at 90 degrees. Here. Right here. Going past. I haven't heard any pings. I haven't heard anything since they haven't noticed us. There's another one here, by the way. For the looks of it. Well, yeah. It's just a matter of letting them pass by. And uh, after that, we will reload torpedoes and maybe try to give it another go because. We can pass this, uh, them again and again put us ourselves in front of them. Uh, my other concern is again, we have to do 2000 kilometers of um, patrol and <laughs> we are about to run out of tor torpedoes. I might leave this uh, convoy alone, I don't know, because I need torpedoes to do that patrol, obviously. I'm not going to patrol only to be there to look. I want something to hit whatever we find. Anyway, I'll think of it 
when they are well past. By the way, no news on the second ship we we hit, the one we hit with the aft torpedo. Seems the he didn't go down, so probably it's hurting. We might try to to find and finish him off. We'll see. All right, that periscope death, doing a uh, another around search. And it seems nothing's close by. Let's order the surface. Tanks unblasen. And up we go. Standard ahead. Yeah, look, the smoke all around there. I'm not sure what happened with that freighter we hit with the aft torpedo since he didn't go down. And for the looks of it, he didn't fall behind as well. So maybe I'll, maybe I'll backtrack a little bit, try to follow Excellent. the scent for a, li a little bit and see if indeed is the case. If that CP is still in the convoy, I'm not going to bother. Uh, 4 p.m. Yeah, we might get uh, again. We may give it uh, a go, but only five torpedoes in the front and one in the rear. And if I do another combo attack, I'm going to spend all my torpedoes. So yeah, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. But for the time being, we have done pretty well. So. Let's send the report. You go to the top. Yeah, we'll backtrack a little bit, come close to them and see what's what. If there's one Merkan falling behind, that's the one we hit and uh, we'll try to finish it off. If not, yeah, I'm probably going to leave it alone. As much as it pain me, but I'm really not used to spend so many torpedoes on targets. I usually fire one or two torpedoes per target. Zip masts, tiny group. Uh, there. I think that's our target. I think that's it. If that's the case... Oh no, that's it. That's it. Yeah, not sunk. I saw he had guns. So I'm not really in the position to begin gunning him down. Even less when there are the service around. Uh, let's see what I do. But... Maybe it's go under and fire the aft torpedo. It's the less useful. So, yeah, I don't know, as I come close, I will decide. All right, there he is, there she is. And uh, yeah, I have spotted Legos, they have abandoned ship. So that means that we indeed can go. And finish the job with the gun, saving torpedoes. That's really good news. Not the best weather in the world, Super but steady. I may actually. How far is him? Two kilometers. I might want to come closer. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, I think we are close enough. Captain. Uh, AP. And. Uh, Fire. Fire. 
Truly, truly, truly resisting to sink. Come on. The best level. There we go. Alright. It's your gun. And I yell very well. We can come back up. Send the report. Wow, I'm 10,000 for that. Ooh. Okay, level 3. Yeah, I knew you were there. The captain and the, and the mechanic. And let's give the rest some supplies. Just one of them again. Home rules for myself. I don't want to overdo it. And let's go here, which is the place of the other ship we sank and we'll also give them some supplies okay we are close by let's check on those third grey boat should be here yes they are two more officers we capture and give them the rest some supplies you are welcome okay yeah well as i said I would love to just keep on doing this and hunting the rest of that convoy, but we do have a patrol area to patrol and we need torpedoes for that. So as much as I would love to do another attack, I think we have already extracted a heavy toll out of them, two of the heavier ships on that convoy, and uh, yeah, it's time for us to go look at the place we should be at <laughs> so yeah i think that's going to be for the, to be it for this video guys i i hope you enjoyed it really a very nice convoy attack a huge convoy i'm hoping for better torpedoes so i can actually send i, I mean in a convoy like that i would uh, like that i would have tried to fire at three different different ships with my front torpedoes and one more with the aft torpedo but really, torpedoes are simply not reliable enough. So I just have to fire all of them. <laughs> and as you saw, I fired five tor torpedoes, two of them were that in a perfect 90 degree angle. So, yeah, it's a little bit wasteful, but it's what you have to do because otherwise, yeah. Well, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you have fun. And uh, yeah, as always, well, I give the video a thumbs up if, if you think it's worth it. Uh, comment and if you want to do so in the comment section below uh, subscribe if you aren't already hit the button bell all that stuff you know that really by now and as always thank you very much for watching and see you later